What's going on everybody on YouTube? Star Wars 1744 here. Today I'm going to be uh, doing something a little bit different um, for one of, or for two reasons. One, um, I've recently been getting a lot of uh, comments on my videos asking like what what mod is this? How do I download mods? What game is this even? So uh, I decided, you know what, I'm not getting any good gameplay in any of my games right now that I'm playing, so I'm going to I'm going to make a video on that and show you how to do that. So, yeah. Okay, so first off, obviously you need to have, um, the game is called Star Wars Empire at Warp, so you need to obviously have that. Um, you can get it on Steam. It's currently on Steam for about 20 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, it comes with uh, the original Empire of War game as well as the uh, expansion, Forces of Corruption. Now, um, both of these versions have got um, mods for them, but uh, Forces of Corruption is uh, mostly what I find you're going to be modding um, anyway when uh, you download these mods. At least it's what I download mo it's what I download mods for anyway. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to download mods for that, and uh, this is for the uh, Steam version of the game. If you have the uh, disc version, then um, it's going to be a slightly different um, operation for you, but um, uh, more or less it's going to be the same uh, steps until we get to actually putting the files into the mods. So, so uh, I already have this game in my library, so I'm good to go. Um, but if you don't have it, then obviously you need to get it. But if you do have it, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So, um, Usually you can just go into Google and search up FOC mods or Forces of Corruption mods if you want to put that in. But usually FOC works good enough. Uh, and then you're going to go and then you're going to go to uh, moddb.com. Um, if you want to look for a particular mod, you can do that, like uh, Star Wars FOC Throne Revenge mod. Like that's a pretty good mod. Uh, it'll just take you straight to the mod path. Um, most of the, uh, the main mod that I use, um, uh, is the Super Star Destroyer mod, so I'm going to be, uh, showing you how to download that. But, um, Thrones Revenge is actually a pretty good map. I highly recommend you go and, uh, or a good mod, I mean. Um, I highly recommend you go and check it out. It's really fun, actually. It takes place after the Battle of Endor, so you have, a uh, the Imperial Remnants, the Republic, uh, a new Imperial Factor. It's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, I have the, uh, SSD mod here. Now, um, the creator of this mod, uh, Metroid Man, actually, uh, uh, commented on one of my videos, and he was actually awesome enough to send a link to, uh, his newest mod. So, uh, Metroid Man, if you're watching this, great job on the mod so far. Uh, I really, I'm really curious to what this one's gonna do, so let's, uh, I see what changes you made. So obviously on the mod page you just hit download and then uh, usually it will start automatically. Sometimes you need to hit uh, uh, the download button up here. Okay, so I'm going to let that download and to download multiple files. Uh, no thanks. Um, now the files on the, now the, these mod files that you download, um, they're actually uh, zipped files. So you need to have something that can uh, uh, open those zipped files. Um, usually the most common one is uh, WinWar. So if you just search up WinWar, you can usually hit the first um, system. Usually hit the first one and then uh, just pick whatever system is yours. Like if you use a... Um, usually you can just use uh, these English software versions. Uh, they're all free. They're all trial versions. Um, you can pay for them if you want, but I, d I wouldn't really recommend doing that because uh, um, the trial version works out, it, it it gets the job done, so you don't need to spend money for something that gets, obviously gets it done. Okay, uh, I actually already downloaded this earlier. But, um, yeah, once you see that, uh, bookcase icon, after you, after you have WinWar installed, you should see this bookcase icon on, uh, uh, on, uh, zipped files and stuff, and that means you can, um, open them up. That means that they're accessible. Now, see, it's, it's wanting me to uh, 
uh, buy the software and stuff, just just ignore that. You don't need to do that. Um, then once you're in here, there's the mod file. Just hit extract. Uh, usually extracting to the desktop is good enough. Um, this shouldn't take long. It's a fairly small mod, I think. Okay, so once that's done, you can see the mod uh, folders right here. Now um, you can't just now you need to go into uh, the mod file or the game uh, program. So you need to go in. So you need to go into where your Steam folder is. Go down into Steam apps. Go into Common. Then you need to go into Empire at War. Um, and then since this is a Forces of Corruption mod, um, you're gonna have to go into Corruption. So once you're in here. Um, you're going to have to create a new folder and title it Mods. Um, I already have it created, so I don't need that. Uh, make sure it's a capital M. I don't know if... Um, it doesn't have to be a capital M. I don't think so. Sometimes it's picky, sometimes it's not. I don't know. But as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of mods in here. Then uh, all you got to do is copy the mod file in here. And there you go. Now, um, if you try and launch the game with just this with uh, just these folders in here, you're not, it's not going to load up anything. You actually have to tell the game to go into these uh, different codes and actually activate them. Now, uh, the, be now the downside is that um, you can only have one mod at a time um, playing on the game. So if you have an Absolute Corruption mod, you can't have Imperial Civil War at the same time. And uh, same thing for Republican War. Right? So you can only have one mod going at a time, which personally I don't really like, but it is what it is. So in order to do that, we need to go into the game's properties. So if you go into Steam, go down to Properties, you go to here, Set Launch Options. So once you're in here, um, you're gonna have to change. You're gonna have to set it to um, to read where the mods are. So you need to type in Star Wars Empire at War, then in caps mod space mod path equals oops, equals mods forward slash and then once you're in here you just type the uh, mod name so you can just go into mod full you can just go into your mod folder uh, copy and paste it in that's usually what I do um, and then once that's done uh, you can go into the game and load it up. Now um, you get two choices here: you get Empire of War Gold or you get Forces of Corruption. Since the mod was in the force in the Corruption folder, you're going to have to load up Forces of Corruption in order for it to work. If you load up Empire of War, it's just going to load up the initial game itself. So I'm going to load it up, and I'll see you in there in a minute. Okay, one quick thing that I just want to mention, um, if you're using more than one mod, as you saw in uh, my mod folder, I had a whole bunch of stuff, um, just take the um, link that you need to put into the Steam library, just copy and paste it into a Word document. Put the name of the mod up top if you want, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, it matters to me, because then I know what, what each mod is, but yeah, just just do this. And then all you got to do is just copy and paste. Copy and paste. It's a piece of cake. It gets, it does what it's supposed to do, and you know what? It's a, it just saves you time.